Dear sir, I write this note to tell, to tell you of me plight. For at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. Me body is all black and blue, me face so deathly gray. And I write this note to tell you why I'm not at work today. While working on the 14th floor, I had some bricks to clear. But to toss them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased, he is an awkward thought. He said I'd have to cart them down the ladders in the hard. Now shifting all the bricks by hand, it was so very slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured a rope below. But in me haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. So when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead. And clinging tightly to the rope, I stalled it up instead. I shot up like a rocket. To my dismay I found that halfway up I met that bloody barrel coming down. Now the barrel broke me shoulder as to the ground it spread. When I reached the top I banged a pulley with me head. I clung on tightly numb with shock with this almighty blow. And the barrel spilled out half the bricks forty floors below. When these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more. Still clinging tightly to the rope, me body racked with pain. Halfway down I met that bloody barrel once again. Now the force of this collision halfway down the office block Called multiple contusions and a nasty state of shock. Still clinging tightly to the rope, I fell toward the ground and landed on the broken bricks the barrel had scattered around. Well, I lay there groaning on the ground, I thought I'd pass the worst. But the barrel hit the pulley wheel and then the bottom burst. A shower of bricks rained down on me, I didn't have a hope. For as I lay there bleeding, I let go the bloody rope. The barrel being unsecured, it started down once more. And it landed right across me as I lay here on the floor. It broke three ribs in my left arm, and I can only say, that I hope you'll understand why I'm not at work today.